Good afternoon all. Luis Miguel Lexa from BrickBC Projects. Hope you're all doing well. Um, yeah, look, uh, just playing a, a song while we uh, wait for people to join and get myself sorted out here by um, by one of our favourite musicians, SOS on side, uh, his jamming in GM um, song. Uh, again, um, some chill out music from um, SOS. Uh, thank you, sir, for that fantastic music. Um, yeah, look, today, Brick Q&A, uh, our weekly show. Um, yeah, well, today we're just going to be talking about um, why do we buy tokenized real estate? Um, why, should I say, why do we buy digital art for our um, tokenized real estate properties? Um, yeah, look, um, although today, um, as we try to every week um, in the new 2023 year, uh, it is a, a Twitter space, but um, well, we're also recording this session live, um, uh, well, recording it. On as a video that we put up on our YouTube channel. So um, uh, obviously the Twitter space is live, but um, this recording we put up on our audio, we put up on our um, Spotify and a couple of different places, and also the um, video version of it will be put up on our YouTube channel. So um, so people can catch up on the recordings. Um, yeah, look, we'll just wait a couple of minutes. Uh, if uh, get a chance, people to do to join if they want to join us live on Twitter Space. Um, but uh, yeah, look, uh, <clears throat> today we're just going to be throwing in terms of talking about um, some of the things that we've done uh, around um, uh, artwork for our properties and um, why and and how and and what have you uh, around that particular uh, topic for today. Um, yeah, probably just reflecting on the week um, over the past week. Um, yeah, look, with uh, some of you who are actually on the Ravencoin blockchain and uh, do do see the, um, the the scanning in terms of what um, assets are being tokenized on the Ravencoin blockchain, um, you've probably been seeing some um, brick um, related um, assets being uh, minted on there as NFTs. Um, uh, that's some of the stuff that we've been um, sharing or personally sharing myself. Um, so when uh, when I'm out and about. Uh, uh, especially on the brick walks um, as I get out there and um, and do some uh, physical activity. Uh, always try to showcase in terms of where we are tokenizing our real estate properties, um, whether it be Brisbane on the, on the Gold Coast. So you'll see some um, on the scan, you'll see some brick, uh, obviously with our um, main asset name, and then you'll see uh, uh, the, 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 the asset names and FT names for... Um, whatever thing I'm actually out and about, uh, whether it be brick walks with the dates or specifically try to name it to be relevant to the, the photo. Um, yeah, so uh, there's some brick walks. We try, I try to also take um, some of the iconic spots around Brisbane. Um, I actually did share actually one of them I put up during the week of uh, the Breakfast, Breakfast Creek Hotel, one of our famous, um, famous um, water holes here, uh, hotel, uh, uh, that I did put up. Uh, yes, I did. It's on the last um, pin tweets on there. Um, the Breakfast Seat Hotel, very famous for its steaks. Um, there's a lot of beer, like some Forex beer, our local beer, which is a Forex beer. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's just um, down the road. Um, and um, also put actually while we're on the pin tweets, uh, also some data put up here in terms of um, some of the artwork we bought for our properties, our koala property and um, dolphin um, property. Um, if you see me looking down, I'm actually looking down at the um, at the um, at uh, the phone for the on the Twitter space. Um, so I can see what it's actually been pinned up. Um, and you'll see some of the, also one of the pins that sort of um, summarizes each, uh, each property token series, what artwork is there. Um, how to buy property tokens, our property tokens. And obviously our main one um, talking about the, the Big Dolphin, showcasing the Big Dolphin Gold Coast property. So just on that pin tweets there. Um, yeah, look, uh, as I said, I'll put some, I'll also, also some, put some, I did actually mint some stuff and, uh, um, on there on the Ravencoin blockchain as NFTs of some of the photos of the um, of the future uh, Olympic Village um, in terms of showcasing some of the um, showcasing some of the uh, before they start so they're, they're starting doing the civil works around the Olympic Village for the 2032 Brisbane Olympics so um, where the Olympic Village is going to be which is at the very 
east end of Hamilton, uh, which is uh, quite a large suburb, which also um, is where the Brick Koala property taken serious. The property is located at um, very much located on the west side, the very west part of the, uh, the estate of um, Hamilton. Um, and the Olympic Village is going to be very much at the east end of of the um, of the Hamilton um, estate. So there's probably from one end to another. I think it's probably around eight eight to nine kilometres from one end to the other. So it's quite a large suburb. Um, but yeah, look, um, um, I think um, some of those photos will show some of the the, the sites in its raw form. Uh, starting to take shape with the, the civil spotted side of things. Um, I'll just adjust the camera a bit here because I think it's getting some shadows from the sun that's um, starting to come down um, here over Brisbane. It is, it is four o'clock in the afternoon, just after four o'clock in the afternoon. So starting to get some of the, the shadows here on the video. Uh, obviously, it doesn't impact uh, what's happening on Twitter space, uh, given this audio. Uh, but yeah, look, um, before we make a start, um, yeah, look, Bobby, again, just a bit about myself. Uh, again, as I said, I'm Luis Miguel Lex. I am the uh, manager direct, managing director and um, co-founder of Brick BC Projects. We tokenize Australian real estate property. Um, uh, Brick BC uh, is is based here in Brisbane. The office, our head office, is here in Brisbane, um, and uh, obviously we tokenize on in Brisbane, Gold Coast, and Sunshine Coast next year, which is what we call Southeast Queensland. Uh, a radius of around. Uh, 300 kilometres from um, south to to north, uh, Gold Coast being on the south, and the Sunshine Coast being in the north, and um, Brisbane being smack in the middle between the two. So, um, uh, as I said, we are the, the 2032 uh, Brisbane Olympic City, um, and those events will also be shared across by the Sunshine Coast as well as the um, as well as the um, the Gold Coast. So um, yeah, so some exciting times ahead. Um, uh, we're tokenizing real estate. Uh, we basically uh, take a property and uh, we basically um, uh, produce um, tokens that is relevant to that, that property, to property token series. And basically, those tokens are recorded on the blockchain and made available to anyone around the world to be able to buy into each property token um, series um, and be able to have, have the, get the benefits that comes from that particular property token series. So at the moment, we've got the Brick Koala property, which is a Brisbane property. We've got the Brick Dolphin, which is a Gold Coast property um, that people can buy into for $80 each um, on our um, Brick BC properties tokens platform. So you can go on there, have a have a look at our website uh, where it's got details about the properties. Um, and then if you want to register, um, go on to our sites, links are all there on the, on the website to the to the property token series, our Brick BC property token platform to be able to access um, those, both of those um, token series. Um, um, yeah, look, in terms of, we, we made a decision uh, we we're talking about obviously tokenizing luxury real estate, the residential real estate properties, they're single family homes. And um, what better than to have um, some um, nice work for our tenants to enjoy, some nice um, artwork to, to put on the walls, um, whether it be in terms of uh, on screens or whether it be hard prints that we put on the walls. Um, so again, it'd be, we'd be enjoying that to the beauty of the artwork that we do buy. Um, um, so the artwork we buy is obviously uh, as NFT, digital assets, uh, as NFTs, uh, we only buy we only buy um, from artists that are actually creating their work as NFTs on the Ravencoin blockchain. Um, so, um, so if you're an artist and you like to showcase your work and you like to um, have us buy your artwork uh, as um, digital assets, as NFTs, uh, have a look at different marketplaces um, on the Ravencoin blockchain, um, places like um, Ravenist, um, NFT RVN, um, and um, just NFTs. Um, so there's quite a few places. We'll put some links up. I'll make a note to put some links to those marketplaces um, where you can start uh, minting your artwork uh, as NFTs. Um, and um, and then if you basically, if you uh, uh, then want it or want to progress to, you can always um, basically mint as well if you want um, straight um, fast track the market, the NFT marketplaces and get in minting your work as on the Mango Farm wallet. But again, anyone starting out, I suggest you start an NFT at a, 
at a marketplace, an empty marketplace, to be able to get that first um, assistance and be easy to do, and um, and they can guide you through in terms of what you've got to do, um, and be able to also showcase so people can actually buy it to be able to easy to as a marketplace so people can buyers and sellers can buy <clears throat> on that uh, marketplace. So um, I'll put links um, in relation to this feed on Twitter space and you can have a look. But uh, again, when the, we, we decided to buy artwork, as I said, um, the actual properties, uh, and uh, we, we're, it's, a, it's a dual purpose uh, in terms of um, buying these um, digital assets, um, these, these pieces of uh, artwork. Um, one, obviously, to display in the property. Uh, and secondly, also, um, it, the, the, each property token series uh, will own that NFT as digital art, uh, digital art asset. So, um, so uh, we, we sort of target with each property token series to have twelve art pieces owned by their specific that respective um, um, property token series. So, the Brick Koala, for example, uh, the Brisbane property has already got the twelve pieces of artwork. Um, the Brick Dolphin property, the Gold Coast property, has already got three pieces. So, there's a few more still there uh, that will buy along the journey. Um, but yeah, so what that does also uh, enables us to tap into artists that basically have never had the opportunity to showcase their artwork um, because obviously um, traditional art is only um, showcased in galleries, traditional galleries, uh, or people basically going to the markets to be able to showcase their artwork. Um, uh, again, the blockchain is providing that um, global exposure in, the, in creating their, minting their work, creating their work on a blockchain that people can actually buy a, um, a digital version of their artwork. Um, I know some artists that also, they do also, in addition to the digital asset, they do actually end up, end up send, well, they do send the, the hard copy, but I guess it'll be different from artist to artist. Um, from ourselves, we, we actually don't want the hard copy because um, it just makes things so much easier where we, when we basically buy the digital version of the artwork as an FT and then... Um, we, we basically then look at um, some of the pieces that we do want to print as hard copies ourselves and um, or, or, or some of them will be displayed on a screen on a wall. Uh, it might be uh, randomly rotating between a few different pieces of artwork on the, on the wall on a on a screen or on a TV, television screen, wherever the case may be. Um, so, again, it's, um, it's not a right or wrong. It's... Um, uh, we prefer just to buy the digital version, and we we don't, we don't actually ask for. Um, we've had a application, a couple of occasions where the artist actually did have the hard copy, and we say just keep. We just like for you to keep that that hard piece um, in your in your um, in your office or in your um, in your gallery, and just keep it for yourself, um, and um, and be able to um, we'll be able to have the digital version of it. So um, yeah, so we, we again, as I said, it's, this provides a platform also for artists to be able to uh, expose their artwork to all over the world, and from us, be able to tap into artwork that otherwise wouldn't be able to get hold of. And there's some great artists out there that are, cre that, that are creating amazing artwork. Um, and now, uh, obviously, with the um, with the blockchain, the uh, the the way they can actually get out there into the world. And um, again, it's um, art is very subjective. Um, but we all like different styles, and uh, I guess this provides a, a very much a global way for artists to showcase their artwork. And um, and again, we're we're fortunate that we've um, we've actually got some um, great pieces already. So uh, I mean, in addition to the the property token series will also buy artwork for ourselves for our office, Fabric BC. Um, so we continue to collect um, art pieces for our own office as well. So um, again, that's a um, fantastic way to um, one support artists and especially the the ones that are minting on the Ravencoin blockchain and and obviously for us to be able to tap tap into some really unique pieces. That otherwise uh, we wouldn't be able to. So um, yeah, it's, look, I'm just saying. If I, sometimes if I refer down, just uh, just skipping my, my notes, make sure I'm not missing some of the points I've made for today. Um, but yeah, look, in terms of um, on our website, if you go to the website in terms of the residential properties, um, so uh, brickbcprojects.com um, website, you'll be able to see some of the. Um, if you go into residential properties tab, uh, and then basically down and and, and um, there'll be clicks. 
uh, their various points to our um, to our BrickBC NFT art gallery, uh, where basically we showcase um, each each property token series, the ownership of uh, each piece of artwork that um, that token series owns. Um, and also the the ones we also own ourselves as part of our collection. So, um, um, but yeah, look in terms of the brick koala, probably just for briefly just to go through the brick koala. We um, it's um, it, we're very fortunate to to own um, Yellowstone, which is a a piece put out by Cavill Lynch. Um, it's one of a few um, that was minted of the obviously the Yellowstone um, series um, on. Um, on cable television that obviously goes around the world. And uh, actually personally, me and Mrs. Uh, Brick, we do enjoy watching the Yellowstone so, um, series. So, so shout out to Kevin Lynch, who actually was involved in creating the photography for the marketing and all the related images for the Yellowstone. So we're quite fortunate during his downtime when he was relaxing out there, he did actually capture some of the scenery, which is his relaxing artwork, his photos. Um, uh, again, it's uh, you'll see there's a one of the Yellowstone um, National Park there that um, that um, Kevin took, um, and also he's, he's made a, a land art series uh, by um, that Kevin made. The, uh, so this is land art too, which is owned by the Brick Koala series, um, is a piece that's a one of one. It's a unique piece. Um, Again, just showing some of the scenery um, um, that um, Kevin took. So um, shout out to Kevin. Thank you for that, sir. Um, and uh, and again, we're quite fortunate to um, have those pieces uh, as part of the Brick Koala Token series. Um, uh, probably the next one there, we've got one by In Excess um, artist that uh, not Nocturnal Spiel um, that she made. Uh, it's a piece of... Um, AI work that she done. That was actually her first piece that she. Uh, well, actually, to, um, I'll 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 correct that. It was actually her second ever piece um, minted on the Ravencoin blockchain. She's actually gone on to mint many many of her art pieces on the Ravencoin blockchain. But that was actually uh, her second piece that we were fortunate enough to grab from her when she um, she minted that piece. Um, um, uh, Birds of a Feather, so uh, by LSJ. Um, so Birds of a Feather is a series of um, birds um, that um, have a different, um, they're all unique. Uh, they've all got different slogans, different um, characteristics. And this um, Birds of a Feather 65, Joy, number 65, and Joy is the message on that, um, on that um, banner. So again, thank you, LSJ. That piece we bought um, very much early in the piece when we were uh, last year, early last year. So um, again, that's a fantastic piece. Um, next one there, we bought uh, Magic Beach uh, Raven versus Micro World um, by X Play One Ninety Four. So again, we bought that fantastic, which is um, again, it's uh, the beach and the and the colours and the, the creation of it was, was fantastic. Um, uh, all the next one, Days by Emery Gardia. So uh, again, that's uh, that's actually a video one. It basically it's uh, a, a very much a click on and basically uh, creates different um, patterns of it, um, the imagery around it. So um, yeah, so that's. Um, there was the uh, yep. Then we also have Ma Maria Scorn, which is um, quite a <laughs> quite a unique piece. Um, they're all unique, obviously, but um, in terms of it's an eye and uh, the guy, the eye. If you click on it, it's uh, you get this movement, uh, and uh, it's actually quite um, yeah, quite interesting, quite unique um, in terms of um, the the motions that it does. Um, so that's uh, yeah, Maria Scorn number. Th Three by um, Kudamos. Um, actually, is it, Kudamos is actually. Uh, I didn't know this, but I found out later. He was actually is actually an, uh, an Australian artist, um, based I think in New South Wales, I believe. So um, yeah. Um, next one was Ocean Eyes. This also was a very early piece that we bought. Um, it's uh, by Kuman Arts. Um, again, it's a nigh. Uh, fence center and iron fish and um, out of South Africa. So um, shout out, for, shout out to Kuman. Um, 
for the fantastic creations she she creates um and uh, again it's another fantastic piece um another one uh, was standing tall um, by indie bows uh, a um, a swan a fantastic piece of artwork that uh, indie bows um, did um so again thank you indie bows um Next one was uh, The Lighthouse 15 by Fatal Frames, a, a unique piece of um, artwork. Um, Fatal, Fatal Frames does a lot of art for photography and using different lenses and different um, aspects of it. So again, it's uh, this fantastic piece. It's um, purple, purple in color and with the lighthouse in sort of greenish, bluish. So again, beautiful piece. Um, next one was a piece by Morgan Crow, RGB 07. Um, some patterns of um, circles, um, rectangles. Um, so uh, another unique piece by, by Morgan Crow. Um, last one was uh, La Bella by Mirage, La Bella number 10. A uh, fantastic piece of uh, artwork by uh, Mirage. Thank you, Mirage. So, again, that um, rounds up the, the 12 pieces that are owned by Brick Koala. Um, the Brick Dolphin, which is a, we launched that um, late last year, is a piece that, a um, uh, piece by Indy Bose as well. Uh, again, it's a Florida Dolphin. Um, and uh, again, fantastic piece that she did. It's one of uh, uh, many, this piece, but uh, given it was quite appropriate given the the Brick Dolphin series, uh, and it was only appropriate to have a dolphin involved in one piece of artworks. Um, and um, and the second one there was Done Beth by SDA. So uh, again, there's a story behind it. If you go on the on our website, you'll be able to see a bit of a story behind that piece. Always enjoy a bit of a story um, behind each piece of artwork, and uh, that had to do with his upbringing, the artist's upbringing in terms of him painting that piece to do with his upbringing, uh, the house in Scotland where he was um, born. So, um, and the last one that was added yesterday by Joe the Feta called Robust. Uh, again, always enjoy story. Um, his story behind that piece was, you never know how strong you are until being strong is your only choice. Thank you, Joe. Fantastic. That was actually the last edition yesterday. We bought it and added that to the Brick Dolphin Token Series. And uh, again, um, 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 Joe, that's fantastic artwork. We've uh, got a few of these other pieces, but this is actually the first one from him that we've added to the um, to our property token series, specifically the Brick Dolphin. Um, but yeah, look, it's um, that's all the pieces. I thought uh, we just sort of covered that in terms of um, uh, what we're doing with the art pieces and how and uh, and why. Um, also, shout out to Cerberus. The Cerberus um, I see is listening. Thank you, sir, for joining. And um, but uh, yeah, so that's pretty much the art, the artwork that in terms of the artwork, digital artwork that we actually buy for our tokenized properties. Um, so that they do get displayed in the property as well as obviously being an asset in itself owned by the specific um, um, property token series. Um, but yeah, look, as I said, if you're starting artist, if you want to start creating your work as NFTs of your artwork, um, look at the Ravencoin blockchain as a, easy and a very um, very low cost to enter in terms of minting your in terms of creating your work as an, as um, as nfts it's pretty much next to nothing that doesn't cost you anything um, you probably get started probably uh, you probably get 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 changed from fifty dollars to start off start off actually minting your work as um, as um, nfts um, on the Ravencoin blockchain. So we ourselves are tokenizing our real estate properties on the on the Ravencoin blockchain. So the Dolphin is actually the first real estate property to be tokenized on the on the Ravencoin blockchain. And uh, and obviously we continue to support the, the Ravencoin community and um, in terms of um, artists that obviously minting their work. So for us, um, we, we continue to, to support artists that are actually um, minting their artwork on the um, as NFTs on the Ravencoin blockchain. Um, again, we'd sort of move on to the Q&A if there's uh, any, any questions. I um, mean, we've had some questions come in, but I always, um, always prefer to take questions from the audience if, if there's any questions as a priority. Um, but there, there's two that did come in. Um, and um, well, two questions was when when and how can I sell my property token? So we had one of our property token holders ask the question. Um, 
Uh, so basically, um, uh, the, the we, we, once the property is settled, once we sell all tokens and we, we settle on the property, then, then again, that is what we call the journey starts. And that's basically any, anybody can sell their tokens. Um, uh, so obviously people have to be verified um, for um, for uh, KYC and AML uh, through our platform. Um, if you've been verified, you can actually sell to somebody um, that's also been verified um, from peer to peer on the on in terms of if you take the, the sub example the, the dolphin token if you take the brick dolphin token to um, your wallet your Ravencoin wallet asset wear wallet um, and you're selling to another person that's also been verified they might be you know, in terms of being a token holder of uh, of ours um, the the you can actually sell amongst each other from peer to peer. Um, the key is that, that people have to be verified and obviously from, from a compliance perspective, um, they have to be verified. So if you try to sell that property token to somebody else that hasn't been verified, um, you'll actually be rejected. We won't accept it because um, each token, each property of our property tokens are tagged. So the Brick Dolphin tokens are all tagged for KYC and AML. So that's one of the conditions that people have to be verified from that perspective. Um, so yeah, so obviously on our platform, we can see platforms. Obviously, um, it tracks all that in terms of um, in terms of who holds what, um, uh, and obviously one of the conditions that from our compliance perspective that um, tokens have to be tagged for KYC and AML um, from that perspective. Um, but yeah, so it's uh, so again, when and how? Uh, well, in terms of when, well. You can sell uh, once we sell on the property. So obviously at the moment we're still we're still trying to sell all the um, all the koala property tokens and as well as the uh, uh, the dolphin property tokens. Um, so once they're all sold, then uh, you can start um, basically um, selling them in the secondary market within our pl platform, secondary market. Um, later on, we are going to introduce um, uh, external secondary markets in terms of where people can you know, have, have a bit more liquidity. But um, but in the meantime, there will people, um, once we settle on the property and people want to sell, they can actually sell within our secondary market on a platform or people, or people can do it from peer to peer if they want to go directly as long as they've been verified. So I hope that sort of clarifies that as to when you can sell your um, BrickBC koala tokens or dolphin tokens. Um, so that's uh, that's uh, the answer there. Um, the second question we had was that the do I own the artwork? Um, of uh, of that particular for that particular property token series, um, but we just but we just um, uh, as, as as I said before, each property token series will own a dozen property tokens. So the the property itself is owned by a special purpose vehicle, an Australian company, and so is the actual artwork. So the digital assets, the NFTs, are also owned by that um, special purpose vehicle in the same. Um, in the same SPV as the property, the respective property. So basically, people that have using the dolphin. So if you have a dolphin token, uh, it means that basically you, you have exposed the benefits that comes into not just the property, but also those um, those um, digital assets that the, the token series also owns. So so yes, you are you, you, indirectly you are you get the benefits of of that um, of that NFT art pieces that's there. So if out of all those artists that we have, so for, with the koala and the dolphin. And they 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 hit the big time. Obviously, be reflected in the value of that particular unique art piece that uh, that's signed by the respective um, token series. So, so yeah. So I hope that sort of answers that question as well. So um, yeah, I think that's all I had here. The, again, there's no, the, I didn't see any more questions that came. Um, and they're probably just getting down to the wrap. Um, Hope that sort of gives you everybody an idea in terms of why why we're buying um, digital assets as NFTs for our properties. So um, so we have a bit of a no view there, and um, as I said, go into our website and have a look, um, and some of the, the obviously the artworks that's there um, for each property token series um, that we went through earlier on. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this week. Um, Short and sweet this week, just covering that that topic um, for for today. Um, probably just get down to the wrap. So we do have our weekly show tomorrow, 
with some more generic what is real estate tokenization and we have different people from different um, different places around the world that uh, contribute to the conversation and um, and tomorrow will be on I'll put the the link there after after today so um, it'll be uh, be on again uh, we also have brave land so it's a raving coin community event that's on this um, or this Saturday 3 p.m. U.S. time, U.S. Eastern Standard Time. So you just have to work out um, as to what that equates to the other time zones around the world. So um, again, we'll put links up for that. Uh, the links are up there, so I'll put up also as a reminder on our tweet for today, on our post for today on, on Twitter space. So, um, but yeah, so uh, yeah, that's very much a, uh, a community-driven event, a brave event, a metaverse event that uh, everybody's coming together this weekend to. Um, have obviously 2023 in terms of what's happening, what people are building on the Ravencoin blockchain, what people are buying, and what's the outlook. So um, no doubt um, Cerberus should be there um, sharing in terms of your projects, in terms of what you're up to. So I look forward to, um, to hearing from you at Braveland. So, um, yeah, so... <laughs> I uh, hope you. Uh, I know. I know you sort of that did share some last week, but it'd be great to to, um, to hear from you at Braveland to share with everybody that uh, hopefully we'll get a big turnout at um, Braveland Metaverse um, event that we do. So no goggles needed. No goggles needed for the for the Metaverse. It's just basically as long as you've got a PC, you'll be able to be able to interact with your avatar. Um, but um, yeah, so we're actually also going to be playing that on Twitter space. So there's people that can't access um, on PC or Mac the, the software, they'll be able to listen in in terms of um, I have a Twitter space session. Um, I think some other people in the community also are telecasting over Twitch. Uh, the event, I think um, Blockchain John and from C3 Media, I think they're telecasting over Twitch. Um, I have to remind it that um, it's uh, to to be able to provide that other avenue. But um, but yeah, looking forward to it. Um, catching up with everybody again. Uh, it's uh, it's a monthly event, so looking forward to it again. There's always um, new people popping in, and uh, the again people creating projects, building projects, and um, uh, are constantly growing on the Ravencoin blockchain. And uh, no doubt um, there'll be some new uh, people to share their journey, what they're doing on the on the Ravencoin blockchain. So um, I think that's pretty much it for this week. Uh, thank you for everybody for joining us. Thank you, Cerberus. I can see you. Thank you um, for um, joining in Twitter space. And um, as I said, this is this has been recorded, so I'll be sharing across all different platforms, video version on YouTube and audios on Spotify and um, and uh, obviously here on Twitter space. So um, be able to record if you haven't had a chance to catch us on live, uh, be able to catch up the recording. So again, thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, Cerberus. And uh, have a fantastic evening, fantastic day, depending where what part of the world you're on. Stay safe and more next week. Bye for now.